All right, about 6.05 should be... Ooh, hey there. What the? Were these placed here? By them? That way we have some extra food. We can use it in cooking recipes as well. This gives us just plant fiber. Does it... Oh, Jesus. Do not... Oh, it's coming right at me. I'm going to have to frame onto the roof. I got to frame onto the roof. I can't jump out of here. <sighs> Beautiful day to kill zombies and play seven days to die. Hello. Welcome back to the hunt. This is season two. If you missed the previous episode, you 100% need to, at this very moment, close this video and go check that out. Playlist link in the description down below. Because I explain a lot more about what this is. And if you don't know what this is, you're going to be extremely confused and lost. So definitely go check that out. Of course, if you are happy and you really did enjoy the last episode and you think you're going to enjoy this one, like the video, subscribe new here. Remember, for $2 or more per month, you can get the unedited versions of these episodes. And uh, you're going to see a lot more like uh, a lot more of the ending talking in those little unedited videos. You're going to see all the in-betweens and stuff of uh, when I'm pretty much not talking and I'm just killing zombies, uh, but it's still extra content. And if you're interested, that join button is right there for you. The objective of today is to turn in our mission. And uh, we didn't really gather too much information from our talk with the hunters last night, unfortunately. Um, while I was not recording, I was talking to them a little bit more and it seems like the Christian was hinting at something. I'm not sure what it was. He said, uh, well, they were discussing, they were like, which way do we want to go? And Christian said, well, remember that thing that I talked about over there? And that might have been what I was hearing in the previous episode, where I heard the walking outside of my building. Are those people outside? Oh, God. So if that's the case, Christian was outside my building and we know that he knows where i am and that's what we're just going to play off of i could be obviously overthinking that but if we play off of that we'll be a lot safer in the long run <laughs> see ya so we're definitely just going to pretend like that was the situation even if it's 100 percent made up i don't think it is but you know whatever but uh, back to the plan back to the plan and i keep getting a little off track right the plan we need to go to the snow biome that is what we are gonna do because I'm thinking that they're probably going to see the snow and be like, yucky, I'm not going up there because it's freezing and you have to drink and eat so much more. And it can get rather annoying, but I'm going to use that as my advantage and go over there early game and set up a little base to set up a forge because I want to make a mini bike. There's also a lot of good buildings with really high value loot in the snow biome. This is Nob's game, so we just run straight up uh, to the north and we end up in the snow biome. But I believe the city is northeast or northwest. Sorry. I don't, why do I always die? You know, backwards brain. But first, I'm really curious as what's what this mission will give us. Should be opening up. Actually, does it open at like six something? I don't remember. 607, six something. Let's hit some trees for a minute and just gather up some materials, make some more arrows. Keep busy. This also might level us up. Let's see. Come in, come in, come in. Just a tad bit more XP, please. If I want to level up quickly, too, all I have to do is uh, make a or find or buy a nail gun. We can even just upgrade with our axe. You get a lot of XP for upgrading frames. So we might just do a little bit of XP farm if we need to. So place these guys down and this should level us up. 48 per little block. There it is. Level two. For level two, we're going to start going up into the Grease Monkey Tree. But we need Intellect level two first, so we're going to start right there. And then we have three points available, Bicyclist, and then we need to have level four on Intellect to get up to Mini Bike Master. And there we are. And then literally, we need to level up one more time, and we can craft the Mini Bike. But of course, we also need Advanced Engineering or a Forge Schematic in order to do a Forge, so... We're going to need probably two more levels before we can do everything, unless maybe we can purchase a forge, depending on how much money we get off this mission and if one's for sale. All right, about 6.05 should be... Ooh, hey there. What the? 
Were these placed here? By them? This isn't good. I don't understand why there'd be landmines there. I'm hearing some walking to my left as well. We have great prices. Well Do you think this early they would take me out like that? I'm a little scared. How much money? We got 800. I'm actually going to buy out their shotgun, sh a bunch of shotgun shells, if I can. We just need to buy as many as we can. So I feel like the shotgun is going to be the first weapon that I personally find. I'm going to make sure my inventory is as clear as can be. We're going to get rid of one of... The Actually, we can just apply this fortifying grip to free up a little bit of inventory room. Bandage on the hot bar. Beautiful. We have literally a minute left on our broken leg, so I'm going to chill. Because I... They definitely placed those landmines there. That's scary, man. Landmines would not be there. Those are placed. They 100% know or saw me go into this trader at one point. That was not a lot of XP for that mission. We got 45 seconds on the leg. Like I said, then we're going to pound the Mega Crush and we're going to beam out of here as quickly as we can. All right, here we go. Let's walk out the front. I really hope they're not camping me. They very well may be, but this Mega Crush will outrun them 10 to 1. They definitely placed those landmines, though. Unless that's entirely something new in the game, but I don't believe it is. So we're just going to thoom and just get the heck out of here. Um, we're going to head. We need to head more north, actually, but I just want to kind of do like a roundabout on the lake. Kind of head towards the southern part of the lake and then swing up and head into the snow biome. Also really hoping maybe we can find... Not really a clothing store. I mean, we might be able to find a clothing store in the snow biome. Which would be rather, rather the assist from Seven Days to Die. Because I do need to get warm clothing before heading in there. I thought the leather would actually make me better armor. But it definitely does not. It just makes the scrap armor. If I have enough duct tape. But I don't want to waste the duct tape. Because I'm going to need duct tape for building the mini bike. Chris Delicious died. First death of... The game. Hit him with an RIP. Because, wow. At least it wasn't me. I mean, at the very least. Telling me to shut up. Still hasn't changed his name off of Mel Titty. I remember this road from season one. We actually tracked them uh, down this road. We started following the items behind him. They started actually breaking the empty... Uh, the empty spots. So if I, like, break that, they won't see that an item's empty. And they won't know that I looted it. So that's what they started doing to keep me to stop tracking them. So I need to take one out of their playbook and do the same thing. Are we going to just pop this other Mega Crush or should we go in Bob's Cafe? We could go into Bob's Cafe. Bob's Cafe is not really going to get us distance from where they are. So let's just keep moving. Not going to pop the Mega Crush quite yet. Let's just get a little bit of distance north and try to head towards the snow. And maybe we'll pop it if we start freezing a little too much. How's your leg? Fixed. Thank you so much. Wow, man. Some friend checking in on my leg. I'm glad. What a nice guy. Just looted this. Now I gotta break it. Can't forget to do that. Unfortunately, cars, I... I mean, I could break them down with a wrench, but... Ooh, that's a great find. But I don't want to fill up my inventory with uh, a bunch of car stuff. Because I need to make sure we keep our weight under what it needs to be. Now I'm going to keep off the roads here for a little bit because, like I said, I think they're nearby. I'm a little scared. Should be approaching on the snow biome just over that hill there. I mean, obviously, um, I did I did quite the circle. Like, we could have just beelined straight up into the snow. But I just had to play it cautious. I do not want to end this on day one, day two, you know? And there should be an airdrop coming in really soon. Um, day one airdrop probably landed on them. I don't know what the circumstances of where the airdrop and who the airdrop lands on. Will I ever get an airdrop landing on me? Or is it just going to land on them because they have majority players right next to them? I didn't even think of that. So it'll only show up if they we're all near each other because it's going to choose one or the other. Maybe? I don't know. Let me know with a comment down below. How does that work? Home sweet home. Hello, snow biome. 
so beautiful. I love the snow biome in this game, but we're not going to swim. We got to take this bridge across because we can't be wet and cold. Then things will definitely go south. I need to get a hand on a gun right away just because wolves and dog packs are very common in the snow biome. So we need to be on our tippity toes. Also, these zombies are stronger. So, well, these guys are specifically. They're kind of like biker zombies, but, you know, lumberjacks. So they take a lot more hits. They give you a little bit more H or a little bit more XP, I believe. Usually you get about 400 for a zombie. They give you 750. So that's actually going to be good towards our leveling process, trying to get up to uh, being able to craft a mini bike. So for this town, oh, see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I was just talking about that. I cannot risk this wolf seeing me. Jesus. Good gosh. Especially that wolf. Please do not eat my face. We're going to take it real slow now. We should be fine. All right, let's keep moving. Jeez. Whew, close call. Welcome to Parishton. Parishton is the town that we're going to be spending a good chunk of days in. So get used to it. So this is going to have the large lockbox at the top. But I personally think it might be a waste to get the large lockbox until at least like day four or five. Hello, Mr. Pumpkin. Dead zombie. Because it just, you know, you get better loot now with Alpha 19 the longer the days go on. So what I'm, like I said before, gonna start is by trying to find a nice little, uh, nice little building that can give us some clothing. Maybe just a small residential house. We don't need to do any named buildings or any large hard lock boxes yet or anything like that. But I do want to go the northernmost part of the city just in case they do come in and start looting the city at the same time as me. The chances I'm thinking are pretty slim for that though. So it shouldn't be too much of a worry. Let's loot one of these smaller residentials. At least get a safe point for tonight as well. So that way we're nice, cleared, and have a good roof to sleep on. A nice warm roof to sleep on. And I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure we can blunderbuss. We shouldn't have an issue here. I don't know. I really don't think they'd be here. I just know Boomer now seeing the snow biome would be like yuck and turn around because of the clothing needed. Even though it's really not that bad. I just anticipate him, since he's a noob, that he wouldn't want to come here right away. And I'm just kind of feeling like Boomer is the lead in the group. Um, just because I think he... Does he really have more experience than Christian? Like, I don't even know. I'm not sure who has more experience, really. I would think Boomer, maybe, or equal. I think they might have just played just as much as one as the other, so... We have a bit of a... Hopefully, a debacle there of who's leading and... Maybe it will cause some issues amongst the group. It will literally would never. I'm, that would obviously, but I think it would be funny. Got a little bit of a false floor action here, huh? Trying to make me fall into the kitchen. Well, the loot's not up here. I'll tell you that. I haven't even seen a zombie yet. I know that's going to be... It's definitely going to be an issue. The lack of zombies. The way these uh, servers work is there's only a certain number of zombies that could be spawned at one time. So when we're separated from each other, that zombie number is split between each of us. So we're not actually going to be seeing... Not a, I mean, we'll, we'll see zombies. We're not going to see a boatload of zombies all the time. I might try to up that number between now and the next session. Just see if it doesn't cause any lag issues or anything. Just to get more zombies in the mix. Because as you could tell, it's a little... A little barren right now. Where the heck am I supposed to go in this building? Maybe it's just no zombies here because there's no loot here. What is this place? Is there a basement? No. I'm, supposed to re I'm assuming we start here and then we go through here. Then we probably go down here. Looking for that toilet pistol. Give me the toilet pistol. Ooh, a lock safe, but we want to save our lock picks for the hardened chest. I just don't think this place has loot. Okay. That's weird. This place definitely will. Or we could just head to the roof for the hardened chest. I know what, like, I want to wait, but, like... I feel like I can get a pistol early. I feel real, like, unsafe with just a blunderbuss. So let's frame to the top. Just go right for the hardened chest. Because the loot downstairs in the church is just not worth the effort. I think our problem is going to be the birds. If they spawn. Gosh, I'm a little scared. 
Do not want to break my leg again. I need to make some more frames. Let's do another 15. Just get up to this top portion. Oh gosh. Got birds. One bird. And then two bird. Beautiful. Oh, I was going to say, usually there's more birds. Deer to deer. <laughs> there it is. And we have our hunting knife now. Made out of bones. So we can gather the feathers. And make even more arrows for more sneak attacks. The stealth in this game is going to, for Alpha 19, is going to make this hunt series really fun. Especially if any of them focus on it. You can, like, catch up to people. Like, you're just faster running. Like, it's just all together better. So we have about how many lockpicks? We have four lockpicks to attempt this hardened chest. There's still going to be weapon bags and other useful little tidbits in there, no matter what. But, obviously, the hardened chest is going to be the number one priority here. All right, let's start with medical supplies. A splint, that's good to have, just as excess. Another blunderbuss, which we can scrap down. We're already starting to get a little too full on room. We're going to have to establish our base on day three. I'm going to loot today and just use like a chest inside some house. And then, because uh, we should be, you know, we should be relatively safe until, uh, relatively safe until obviously they start kind of catching on to me. Once the towns start getting looted more, that's probably what they're going to do. They're just going to loot up and then start hunting. I doubt that their current priority is hunting me. I mean, it very well could be, I guess. But I'm not sure if that would be, like, the way to go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Don't do this to me. Seven days to die. <gasps> okay, good. Beautiful. Another blunderbuss. Not that important. Bandolier, heck yeah. Sawed off. Knuckle wraps. Pipe bomb. Scrap you. And we'll put on scrap leg armor as much as it slows us down. Still better than padded. Scrap that real quick. Pipe bomb's nice. It's not really that important. Keep it for horde. If we need cloth, I'll find cloth. Actually, with those cloth bandages... Let's make some bandages real quick. Just some excess ones. All right, bandolier for faster reload. Get rid of the knuckle wraps. And now I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable with my inventory room. I do not need a paintbrush. We will not be painting. Although that could be funny. Never mind. Maybe I'll find some paint and we'll paint some stuff. But inventory room, nah. I'll leave it up here. I'll leave it up here. So if we ever want to, we can come back for it. I should have sold my cash while I was at the trader. I'm an idiot. But so far, not bad. I mean, we can go blunderbuss our way through a building real quick. Get some more loot. And just kind of loot the day away. Oh my god, just scared myself. I hope they're not anywhere near me. Gosh. Miss click. Desk pop. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you pop your desk. Everybody does it. It's like a christening. Work our way down here. Beautiful. And we'll just... Oh, we can't leave this frame structure here, actually. We can't make it seem like we've been here. Come to think of it. I just can't. I just... Especially because this is where we're going to be spending most of our time. I cannot leave a frame tower up. It would just not be in my best interest. Let's grab this, grab this, because they will see the frame tower and know that I'm either here or have been here. At least this way, they'd have to go to the top to realize that everything's looted. And when they start on the bottom floor, they're going to think nothing's looted. Got some zombies popping in now. And we can also get a quick loot off of this place. This is why I like the snow town. And the fog really makes the view distance a little bit lower too. So all around, it's just a much safer location to set up a base. But once we have the mini bike, which honestly won't even take too long, we'll start traveling around a bit more and try to get some information on where they're, uh, where they're at. Hello, zombies. Do you want to go? Do you want to go, zombies? I'm gonna beat you up, that's what I'm gonna do. We're half on food though, so we can actually free up some inventory room. I'm gonna try to eat the foods that are only in stacks of one, if I can. But uh, stacks of two works too, because it's going to free up some more inventory room for us, for us to walk around. It's kind of even hard to see our inventory slots when we're looking in the snow. Alright, got some zombies here. Let's try to wake them all up. 
Come on, zombies. Wakey, wakey. Ring the dinner bell, just like in Zombieland. I, Zombieland is a top 10 movie. Top 10 movie. Go watch Zombieland. Not the second one. Don't We don't talk about the second one. We don't. It's just not, you know, it's just not worth the, uh, the brain power. Oh, gosh. Not worth the brain power to talk about the second one. We'll just pretend like the first one was the only one. The second one was just kind of lame. It kind of ruined the whole zombie apocalypse vibe because there's just too many survivors, you know? It's like, oh, here's a person, there's a person. There's just a bunch of people alive. What happened to f never finding anybody and being like the last one alive in Columbus, you know? I didn't like how they changed it in the second one, but enough ranting. Go watch Zombieland, the first one, okay? Excellent movie. Hello, Mr. Ness. Ness Joy. You gonna die? I'm trying. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shoot for a while. Shooting's gonna be like kind of a last ditch effort for survival if things start to get a little fishy. Ooh, medium ammo pile back here. You're getting a lot of ammo. I already have a stack of five, five, six or seven, six, two. Sorry, I already have a stack of that. I can also dig up these graves if we're gonna min max a little bit, and I think we are gonna min max because I'm the pro and I need to be making pro plays. And pro plays would be to dig up all of these graves. So that's what we're gonna do after we kill this stupid zombie. Jesus, thank you. Water jug, give me good water. No, I'm sad. Oh God, I forgot there's zombies in the ceiling. Oh God, we're good. We're good. Hello. Come here, zombie. How do you do, 2D? Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh my gosh, the stamina on this dang gun. Gun? This sledgehammer. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. We just made a bunch of noise. There we go. And then, like I said, this is gonna be the problem because we can't go up in stamina. We can't go up in pack mule because we need to rush the mini bike as quickly as possible, which is gonna cause some issues with our early game. Obviously, because we're not gonna have upgrades or anything. But I think we'll fare fine. I think we'll be fine. I'm not eating any of this dog food or meow mix or anything that I find. I'm not risking infection of any sort. It's just gonna just put a damper on my parade. And I need to make sure the parade keeps marching because otherwise there's no way I'm gonna survive more than a horde. And horde is actually gonna be one of the better times to hunt them down because you'll see groups of zombies running right at them. All right, so I'm gonna dig up these graves and see what we get. Got a little bit of aloe. Seed, uh, I thought it was gonna be regular aloe for HP. Also, just realized, we actually have uh, the protection, the beginning game protection. That's why we're not freezing right now. So I think, I, I don't know if it's two days or three days or even the first week. I don't know how long you have the protection for, but we gotta utilize that protection and find clothing right away. All right, so a little bit of ammo, a whole bunch of junk. Good food out of that, nice, perfect. We got food and water for a good amount of time. Food's not the best, but we can definitely start hunting something as well to get some extra meat cooking once we establish our base in the next day. But I mean, so far so good. Day two, it's coming along. Heck yeah. As I mentioned before, let's go find hopefully like a clothing store or something in this town. And uh, our inventory is really kind of becoming a nuisance. So we need to drop off. You know, we could drop off here. This is not a bad spot to drop off. What I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna use this backpack right here. There we go. And I'm actually gonna throw some really important stuff in here. Um, but the chances, the chances of them finding this are pretty slim. Um, so we're definitely gonna be back here at some point, but we just don't need this stuff like on us right now. It's just taking up a lot of inventory room. Um, I'd like to carry the bullets around just because if I find a gun, then the gun's available to use at the time. But like, you know, I just don't feel like we quite need all of it right now. We can come back for it. And that's going to help us explore a little bit more and a little bit faster. And it won't give away our location because, like I said, the chances of them going in that backpack in this graveyard this early into the session, I just don't see it happening. Also, we need to find a medical building. That's gonna be super important. And we're gonna touch all of these trash piles because more lock picks. Before I forget where that was though, just a quick way to point that and let's explore. All right, I'm gonna kill as many zombies as I can along the way too, especially solo ones just out here in the open in the street. 
It's going to make things really easy to get uh, some uh, chunk XP. I'm actually really close to level 3. We got him charging at us. Oh, God. Please die. All right, down and out, and one little hit. Nope, two hits. There we go. Beautiful. We're getting much closer to level three, where I should get enough skill points to learn mini bike. And hopefully forge two? I'm not sure. A lot of these strip mall buildings over here, but not really what I'm looking for when it comes to clothing. We can obviously still find clothing in these, but I feel like there's got to be something. Oh, a hardware store. This could be nice and convenient for my secret base. We could get some building supplies out of here. We could easily get a hammer for upgrading stuff more. Even a forge schematic, actually. So let's do this. Let's see if we can. It's going to be kind of difficult alone at such a low level without going up in stamina or anything. So we do need to be careful nonetheless. Especially if there's going to be a whole bunch of lumberjacks in there. These guys are super irritating. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Come on. That's what I'm saying. Jeez. Any hits that took? Sneaky sneak. Sneak. Sneaky sneaky sneak. Sneak 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 sneak. Sneaky sneak sneak sneak. Sneak 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 sneak. There's no zombies in here at all. Do 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 do. Fine by me. This is the, the zombie spawn thing I was talking about. We're going to have to definitely up it a little bit. Because it feels like I'm kind of getting free loot at this point. Oh! Okay. I lied. There are zombies. There's just not a lot of them. But you never know what's lying around the corner. you got to be careful. A hammer. Hell yes. Got a nice upgrade hammer for when we build our base. I'd like to get it like right into concrete if possible maybe i can find some buckets or buy some buckets and uh find some rebar while i'm here we can just smelt rebar in the forge as well but that would be super duper toilet pistol nope that'd be super duper awesome if we could go right to concrete and like a vault door and have like an escape route out the back in case they find us it's got to be more of this place right let's frame over this thing real quick oops Remember not to leave the frames, though. I guess inside a building I've already looted is probably not the worst thing ever to leave frames in. But just so it doesn't seem like I'm still here, I need to make sure I get rid of them on my way back. Oh, God. Zombie behind the door. Door zombie. Ooh, birds behind the door. Dangerous things everywhere. Got to blunderbust that guy. Unfortunately, could wake the whole neighborhood, but definitely needed to do that. Might blunderbust the bird, too. Come on over, bird. I see you. There it is. Nice. Level three. Only one skill point at level three, though, unfortunately. So that would get us to the mini bike thing, which is what I'll do first. And then let's just hope we get a forge blueprint or even could buy or purchase one. There should be a trader kind of nearby here. I don't, there is a, is there a snow trader? I don't even remember. I'm unsure if there's a snow trader. I'm gonna have to look at the map. One little sealed off crate. This place kind of stunk. I thought it'd have a lot more. I feel like I'm missing something though. That's usually the case with these places. You just miss something you didn't realize was there. Like through here? No? Bunch of trash, just a lock. We could we could go for this. Let's see. We got two, three of them. And we got to three seconds. Oh god, is that it? That's it. Well, all our lockpicks are gone now. What can you do? Does backyard have anything? This place stinks. Low key, low key farts. What does this go to? Nothing? Is this the loot? You're not loot, you're a zombie. Oh, the one-hitter quitter, heck yeah. Makes things a lot easier for me. Well, I don't think we're finding rebar or anything really important out of this place. And now we're starting to get cold. Uh-oh. That's not good. Gonna need to find clothing sooner rather than later. We got honey, which is nice for dysentery in case we have an issue. 
Um, also the 5% chance of cure infection. That's really, really a gamble, but it's better than getting an infection and just dying from the infection. So this snow town, I anticipate probably going to be, have enough materials and loot for me uh, to get my mini bike up and running and to have enough food, ammo, hopefully guns by the end of looting it where uh, we should have a mini bike and be looted up and ready to leave our little base whenever we get the chance. But we can always head back to our little hidey hole if we need to craft some ammo or get some other things going. But I'm gonna head over just kind of towards like these buildings and just see if there's anything up in there. Maybe like some of these residentials might have some goodies. I kind of half doubt it, but these guys are gonna be our main priority, these, th these four strip malls right here. I believe some of them even have hardened chests, but they are difficult. They take a very long time. Probably like 20 to 30 minutes a piece, especially solo playing extremely cautious. So I'd like to have guns or something first before doing them. So maybe we'll start with these residentials tomorrow. I'm going to grab this corn. That way we have some extra food. We can use it in cooking recipes as well. This gives us just plant fiber. Does it... Oh, Jesus. Do not... Oh, it's coming right at me. I'm going to have to frame onto the roof. I got to frame onto the roof. I can't jump out of here. I got to frame to the roof. I got to frame to the roof and I got to kill that thing. Because that's a problem. Where'd it go? It's in the tree. Gonna hit it with a little bit of stealth. It's gonna be good XP too, though. As long as it plays stupid, we should be able to take it out from up here. As long as we don't fall into it. I told you the wolves were gonna be an issue in the snow biome. Here they are. I need to make sure I do not go over the edge too far. It's playing nice and smart. Now it's playing stupid and I should be able to take it out. We'll get good meat off of this, too. We can cook up a nice meal tonight. Skin this wolf. Eat him up. He's also going to give us a good amount of XP. I really do hope. Do not break in underneath me. If he breaks in underneath me, I'm going to have to break a roof tile and shoot him that way. Come on. He should be dead soon, right? He's taking so many shots. Come on. Please. Please die. Please die. Come on. Wow. I didn't even run out of arrows. My gosh. I feel like if you had that many arrows in your spine, you'd probably be dead. Oh my god. Hello? This thing is invincible. Absolutely invincible. My bow's gonna break. Switch to metal. Gosh. Please. The dog noises are making me sad, too. There we go. God, only 750? Bro, look how many arrows I shot into it. <laughs> How's that only 750? And it's really not even gonna be that much meat, either. I mean, maybe enough for a couple pieces of charcoal, charcoal meat. Which in a which in a pinch is is good. So, all right, well, we're right next to our safe zone, quote unquote. I'm gonna use these walls and this little this little church here to be my little safe zone for now. But we're gonna build a secret base later. Probably next episode we'll begin on the secret base. All we'd have to do is level up one more time in order to get the forge going. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that again right now. Actually, in the intellect tree, into grease monkey, we have mini bike master now. We could even go Motorcycle Maniac and get real crazy and have a real nice fast thing. We could even run them over with it and try to kill them. But we're going to be just kind of chilling in this space here. Let's make a door and just lock it just so like at least I don't just get like snuck up on out of nowhere in case they've been tracking me this entire time. Which I sincerely doubt. It's a really just terrible door, but that works. And then we'll do a little bit of this. Just to kind of be safe in here to some degree. It does give away my whereabouts, but it could waste some time for them later if they find this. And I could always check on it and see if they've been here because they would have broken into it if they found it. 
So that's fine. We have all our loot right here. I can break the top now because it's nice and safe. And we got everything right here. So let's go talk to the dudes for the nighttime check-in. Things, by the way. Hey, hey. Oh, 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 hey. Hi. Speak of the devil. Of the devil. How's, how's your nighttime? How, how was your daytime, I mean? Great. Ah, uh, productive, I'd say. Productive. Productive. I'd say mm -hmm. it was productive. That's good. Yeah. And get some goodies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so like honest question. Go on, mm -hmm. go on. Need, I need on dogs here. I need an on dogs. Okay. Did you place those uh, landmines there? What? Where? Huh? Did you place landmines anywhere? No. Not to my knowledge. I didn't place anywhere. Are you I sure? I didn't even know you could place landmines. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Wonder why those landmines were there. That's weird. Where? Why would I tell you? I hope you step on them. What the fuck? Suck me. <laughs> Plus, it would give away my location, and I don't. Are want you to do a that. good friend? Not in this game. No, I'm. I'm supposed. To, you oh, guys are God. trying. You guys are trying to kill me. What I is... would never. You would I'm never. I'm gonna gracefully put you in the dirt. Okay. So. You're gonna nicely kill me? That doesn't change anything. No, no one hates us. Two hits, me hitting you, you hitting the floor. Okay, gotcha. Oh my God. That was aggressive, but I'll take it. I think you guys just both Boomer, come, Boomer comes what? in with a box full of donuts. <laughs> Boomer comes in with a box full of donuts, puts them on the interview table. I come in right after and swipe them off the fucking table. No donuts for you. And then I cry, cause those are my favorite <laughs> jelly filled donuts. Those weren't for him, those were for me. <laughs> my gosh. Uh, we'd make the worst bad cup good cup. <laughs> I'm just, just over here cooking am. up a bunch of meat, cooking up a bunch oh, of water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Must, Corn must on the be, cob. It, it, it must suck needing food and water. Oh, I don't oh. need it. Trust me. You guys have mm. to feed too. I just got to feed one. This is easy. Here, Boomer, you want this? This is easy peasy. Uh, can I use that? Or that go? I don't I'm think you can. Here, come down. Stuff. 